What's going on guys, Fossil here, and today I've got some AFL Evolution behind the scenes footage of some of the Western Bulldogs players having their face scans taken. Now I'm going to go through the video and we're going to break it down and see what we can find. So as you can see here, it pauses it on Ling Jong. As you just saw before, it went through a number of players having their facial scans taken. They're going into a lot of detail with this. There's actually 24 different cameras around each player to take photos from a lot of different angles to get the best possible render and the best possible looking players for the new AFL evolution. <laughs> Now, as you pause it here, you can see Jack Redpath tilting his head upwards, and it looks like they're getting rendered footage of players moving their heads from left to right, up and down, so we're going to get pretty authentic looking players in AFL Evolution, which is really cool. It's something we haven't really had before, and it's really exciting. Now, here we just see a few old school Western Bulldogs or Footscray logos, now, I don't think this has anything to do with the new AFL Evolution game, which it would be cool if they possibly had old school logos in the game, maybe heritage jumpers, heritage logos, maybe that we could use them to make our own custom teams. But at this stage, I think it's more just for the video purpose. <laughs> so now if we pause the video here, you can see that these photos were taken on Monday the 27th of July. Now looking back at the calendar, the last Monday the 22nd of July was back in 2015. And as you can see, there's some players that are no longer at the Bulldogs, which is uh, Brett Goods and Joel Hamling, which only just left. Uh, Matthew Fuller, I don't think he's there any longer. So there's a couple of players on that list that won't even end up making it into the game, which will be disappointing for them. I'm pretty sure they would have been excited to be in the new AFL Evolution game, but unfortunately, they've been delisted or retired or moved on, so they won't be in the game, some of these players. Now, the thing is, these, these rendered scans of the players are a couple of years old by the time this game comes out. And you look at that as sort of a negative saying, well, they're not 100% up to date. But at least we are getting these players looking as realistic as possible, which is a new thing coming to AFL games and Australian sporting games in general. Something that we've been like craving for for ages to have something that looks authentic and you know just we you know the more authentic it looks, it's just the little details that makes you want to play the game a little bit longer. It doesn't wear out as quick, you know, it, and it's exciting to see your favorite players running around and looking exactly what they do in real life. Now, the also, the thing saying that it was done a couple of years ago, the positive aspect of that is it shows this has not been rushed. AFL Evolution is not just being rushed out like I think AFL Live 2 was, where I'm pretty sure they just ported over the Wii version, made it into a PS3 and Xbox 360 game. But this looks like they've been working on it for quite a long time, which suggests that they would have been working on it for at least, I reckon, three two, three, even maybe four years. It just depends because they wouldn't have done the facial scans straight away. They would have planned and done other things, maybe gameplay. So this could actually be a decent game. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I mean, it's really exciting to have these sort of things in an AFL game. You can see they've got the times of each player. They've actually organized everything. I mean, sometimes with these Australian sports games, they might release a trailer that might look a bit sloppy. It's not that professional, but what they're doing looks pretty pretty darn good to me. Uh, it looks professional, um, and I'm pretty excited for it. And also, one other thing I want to mention, if they've been working on this game for three, two or three, four years, um, and they make a good core basis AFL game, the gameplay is right, you know, it's all working well. They can just port that over to the next game for the next AFL Evolution or whatever it's going to be called, the future AFL games. It makes it easier for them. So they don't have to go and start from scratch. Once you've got a good core, a good gameplay, which AFL Live 2 didn't have, 
they probably had to start from scratch with this game, which is a good thing. Once they get a good core, a good basis, then they can probably for the next game get even more up-to-date players. So say if a game cam comes out in a couple of years' time, so it was 2019, for example, they might actually have the players looking like they did for that season. As you can see with this picture of Chad Wingard, you can see he doesn't have the Surioli tattoo look-alike as this was rendered a couple of years ago. So there's just those couple of little things that might be missing. It's not going to make or break the game. But yeah, it's really promising and we'll continue with the video. Here's Libertore, one of the favorite sons from down at the Bulldogs. So I thought I'd just pause it on that. the rendered scan of Bob Murphy and as I said before there was 24 different cameras to take 24 different angles of these players and this is the result that we get from Bob Murphy which looks pretty darn good it looks pretty authentic it looks like with these players they're not just doing star players they're doing the whole team list which is also awesome it's not gonna be a couple of players from each team it's gonna be every player in the AFL I'm not too sure about last year's draft if they're gonna be in it Maybe they've done them a bit later on. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see on that. White and blue. We come out snarling. Really looking forward to the new game coming out. Can't wait. Very much looking forward to playing with your AFL game. Yeah. So here, I'll just pause it here. This is Ace Cordy. Now, he's no longer playing at the Western Bulldogs. His brother Zane Cordy's still there. But Ace Cordy is not there. So he won't even be in the game. So I don't know why they would have shown him in this clip. I don't know how long ago this clip was made. But yeah, that's a kind of a little bit of a, <laughs> a mistake by Wicked Witch. Because he won't be in the game. He might be looking forward to playing the game, but he won't be in it. Hey you going, guys? My name's Luke Delhouse. Looking forward to uh, the game coming out very soon. Can't wait. So Lukey Delhouse here. It's good to see this render isn't that old that he's still got the dreadlocks. And it looks like the players didn't know what the title of the game was going to be back then because they're not calling it by the name AFL Evolution. They're saying looking forward to the new AFL game. So AFL Evolution, it's still saying coming soon, but I do believe it is coming in Q2 of 2017 between April and June, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping it was going to come out maybe March, just before the start of the season. Just to, It's the, probably the best time for it to be released because everyone's really excited for the footy to be back. But nonetheless, if it still comes a month later, I'll be still making videos on it. And I just can't wait to, to be able to play a career mode and you know run around with my player. You know, People have been requesting me to do AFL for a while to bring back AFL Live 2, but the game's sort of broken. The opposition never misses shots on goals. I don't really want to play it. It's not that fun when that happens. So I'm looking forward to bringing AFL back to my channel and I hope you guys are too. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. The team.